get him up off the ground to grab him quicker. Um, they're also, their nature has been described as pugnacious. Or nasty little bastards, that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> they can be, and all you do is treat them really, um, really gently and they won't react. But everything's scared of sudden movement. Number seven in the world's most venomous snakes. Yeah. Related to the cobra, and you'll, even the bag that he's been under. That was it straight out. Yeah, not fully out yet. Yeah. Uh, he's just. Yeah. Deep something wrong with it. That's the bag he's been under. <clears throat> Anything that moves will make him feel threatened. So when their head's flattened out like that, that means they're ready to defend themselves or bite you. So, um, again, you have to be in their strike range. And up, grab the end of the bit. And this guy... Had a bit of an injury, has it? more of a going. Yeah. Remember, if you don't get him off the ground, that's a belly rub. When you get the dirt lift, and if you only get less than a third with these guys, and you lift them up, sometimes they'll pull the head out back through the hook. Still not biting, is he? Even though he's having trouble moving through the back part. Still getting through. Just moving through. Yeah, I'm letting him do that. Yeah. You ready, Joe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's been attacked by a dog. Has he? He survived a dog attack, yeah. We go after him and then put him on the license. He's not as heavy, but he's no. a bit more squirmy. Yeah. You can look at snakes. Ciao, buddy. Yeah. yeah, and also they're banded. They look like rattlesnakes because yeah, they've got that uh, stuck in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. They, these guys don't like their head being touched, so we can't put their hook under their head. They usually don't. Could we take? heaps different, doesn't it? They don't like being touched, they don't like being picked up either. Um, you've really got to tread on these guys, they can walk right past them, yeah. put something down in front of them, and they don't move because they would normally be under the leaf litter and never out in the open like this. Yeah. So the, they've found the best way to pick them up is to work out where the middle is. We don't want to have the hook involved too much because if they strike and get their head caught in here, they actually go out and come back, they can actually dislocate their vertebrae. Oh, really? So the way to pick these up is to put this grabber down really low in about the middle of the snake, pull the snake onto there, put some pressure on, you know, you then take this away. If you're strong enough, you can just pick them up and put them in the bin. Or you can put that underneath and just help yeah. lift them. Why well, is it one of the most poisonous and quickest snakes we've got? It's got the smallest bin to put them back in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So when you touch them, they just puff themselves up, make themselves look bigger. <laughs> so Bob, number nine in the world. Yep. Yep. Most venomous. Still not striking. If I make myself look bigger, you'll leave me alone. <laughs> 